Before we get to Jason, Ford Field in Detroit may be quiet since the Lions are in San Francisco for tomorrow night's NFC Championship game against the 49ers, but there was plenty of action above the stadium tonight. The team put on a drone light show for the fans as a thank you for their support during the season. The drone spelled out the names of the two teams they beat in the playoffs and the one that's still standing in their way to the Super Bowl. There will be a big watch party for fans at Ford Field tomorrow night. Jason, we all know the Patriots not in the playoffs this year, but it's kind of still feels like football weather around New England. Yeah, and I'm more of a uh, fireworks fan until I realized that the fireworks really, I mean, I realized this, I realized that the drones obviously are taking away that sound from the dogs being, yes. you know, impacted. Anyway, just a side note there. <laughs> Um, so the lights are, are nice. Uh, and it's, yes, it does feel not as cold. Like it doesn't feel like we're in the depths of winter, Sam. You nailed it there. Uh, and obviously not a lot of precip. Saw a report of a couple snow showers going through Wyndham here. That's just northwest of Portland. Uh, really not a lot going on at all on radar tonight. That'll change tomorrow at this time. Temperatures currently are, are well above what you'd expect for a late January evening. Uh, temperatures are in the 30s to above freezing, Agunquit, Portsmouth, Rochester. Um, I mean, these temperatures, you're certainly not going to do a lot in the way of frozen precip if we had much. Uh, you have 29 in Greenville, you know, Eastport's 31, Holton's 29. That's not terribly cold. And I really want to point out the temperatures because tomorrow when the moisture gets here from the south, we're going to be starting off on the warmer side, relatively speaking, as far as the season and precip goes here. Look at the wind here out of the south. OK, so starting things off on your Sunday, temperatures in the 30s, 36 was Cassid, 33 in Calais. Then watch what happens here as we get later into the day. You're going to notice the precip shield moves in. The atmosphere moistens up by five o'clock. That's rain in Portland, rain in Wiscasset. OK, rain in Rockland and then into the overnight. That's when the cold air tries to start winning the battle at least west of Route 1 and 95, and it's really not until after midnight where I expect the snow to start to stick a bit because you got to get really to 32 or lower or get heavy enough snow to really cool off the atmosphere, cool off the ground, right? You need it to be heavy. Uh, this looks a lot more like a March snowstorm than it does a late January one because it's happening at night. The ground's cooling off. You get a few inches here to uh, you know pile up just a bit. But it's over by two o'clock in the afternoon, pretty much statewide, just done. Then we clear out Monday night. So let's take a look at with the snowfall forecast. I've trimmed things down a bit because of what I just talked about. And we got the temperatures not really cold enough, but still three to six inch. Now you, you see three to six a lot of people only hear six. OK, OK, three to six here, one to three, right? I got to really stress this because I'm, you know, I'm not really guaranteeing the six or the three here. I'm more of like the one and the three, right? This is not a storm that's going to, I think, bust high. I think, if anything, it's on the lower side of things. But you get the idea. We will have the cold air, though, on Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock. How about 27 below zero for a wind chill up in Caribou or just 10 below in Wiscasset? So it's going to get cold, but it's winter. and We're just not used to it, right? It hasn't been cold enough. Uh, as cold as we would like. Gale warning 40 and not just cold for me, Sam, cold for the people that want these lakes to freeze over, uh, want the, you know, ponds to freeze over, want to do some ice fishing, right? We'll get some of that early to middle part of the week, and then we get to warmer temps again, rain and snow back in the forecast. If you had told me that this was January, I would say, nope, that looks a lot like March. What, what would you say to that? You know, I, I will say one. I think yeah. that was the first time I've seen a negative temperature as a low on the seven day. Yeah. But no, it really doesn't. It doesn't hit like that winter cold isn't really hitting yeah. like it is January. Like you said, you know, maybe like late February, March. Yeah, it, it's not lasting. It's only going to be a few days. I mean, that's not, not a big deal. All right, Jason. Thank you.